Hi everyone and happy 2020! So new year means new content and with my new life situation that some of you might know about I'm gonna have to change things around a little bit. So I have moved up from the west coast where I had a lot of time on my hands up to an area called Nelson which is lovely, it's sunny, it's warm, it's perfect. But that means that our costs have gone up and I have gone back to my old job in the new role to be able to pay for the house that we're living in. So I'm working full time. I have a few goals this year that I'm focusing on as well. I'm trying to build this YouTube channel. I want to continue doing my coaching as well. I have a couple of puppies that I need to spend. I want to spend time with and I want them to have the best life that they can have. And I also have a partner that I want to spend some time with. So we're, each person only has 24 hours a day so I'm gonna have to swap things around a little bit and try to be a bit more efficient with what I'm doing and still provide as much value to you as possible because obviously I want my videos to be informative and help you in some sort of way. So up until now I've always had for the last few months, four months or so, I had a monthly topic where I have been putting together about five videos every month that will cover this topic and just focusing on that and a lot about the emotional aspect of how, um, why we are overeating etc. I, I have loved doing that but it takes a lot of time to put each video together. So even though each video is between 20-30 minutes maybe, it takes me several hours to do that because I'm thinking about what I want to do, I'm thinking about what to put into the video, I'm writing it down, I'm rereading it and I'm adding things that I think would be good for you and things that I want to actually share with you. So there's a lot of time going into that and unfortunately I won't have time to do that anymore. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do a cover one topic every month and I will do one video on that and it might be a bit longer, almost like a webinar if you like. So it might be a little bit longer, but hopefully it would be more thorough as well. So it's like a larger training and I will still kind of focus on the emotional aspect, how to get things done, how to mentally prepare yourself to quitting sugar, how to get over your obstacles and all that kind of stuff. So I won't be abandoning that because I feel really strongly about that because that is always what has been missing for me when I wanted to quit sugar, that I couldn't cope with emotional pain. And it sounds really silly. It's just emotions. It's nothing else. But unfortunately, that's how it is. So I think that pretty much everyone who has a problem with food, who is overeating, who's maybe obese or overweight, the problem there isn't most of the time isn't pathological, it's that we emotionally can't handle not consuming things that we shouldn't be consuming, whether that be sugar or processed foods. It's all the same kind of mechanism up in your brain. So I've always had a lot of knowledge about nutrition and exercise and those sort of things, but if I can't stick to it, then I'm not going to get the results anyway. So I need to have both those parts. And most people can find the, the factual advice online and it's really easy to find that. It's not easy necessarily to get the right advice or the right tips and tricks. But sometimes we just have to experiment a little bit and see what works for us as well. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And I also have had a few requests about bringing back the live streams that I did in the beginning when I launched this YouTube channel. So I will start doing that. I will probably do it the same way as I did it last year. So I will start with discussing or telling you a little bit about a certain topic that I have been researching or looking into or just something that I want to share with you. And then after that, I will just answer all your questions that you may have related to that topic or something else. So it's a fun way to just get the discussion going and for me to interact with you. And 
many of you here, not everyone, but many of you are coming from the Nutrition Science Watchdog YouTube channel, aka BodK. I used to be reading the questions there every Sunday and that live stream, I'm no longer there every week, but that starts at 11 a.m. New Zealand time every Sunday, so that's for me. So what I will be doing is that two hours before that, 9 a.m. New Zealand time, I will probably start doing my Sunday live streams and that is from this week. So that will be, once this is going up, I'm trying to think, I'm going to put this up my Friday, very early Friday morning. So about two days from now will be my first live stream. So we'll see how that goes and I have to come up with a topic before that. So I'll have to think about that. So we'll bring that back on request. I had a few people asking for that. And I will also keep doing random videos about nutrition, cravings, um, quitting sugar, possibly even exercise, because at least a couple of people have mentioned this. So I haven't been actually coaching anyone as a personal trainer for maybe seven years now. Wow, that's a long time. I'm getting old. So I haven't really been into it that much and in the last two years I've barely been exercising myself but I'm starting over again now because of my 2020 goals. So I had kind of given up on that a little bit but I do see a need to address this as well but I think nutrition, to be healthy nutrition is so much more important. Exercise is like the cherry on top of that. I'm not saying that you can be bedridden and just eat well and feel great because you need some level of exercise, but exercise is just a way of enhancing that, I guess. So I think get your nutrition right first and then start with exercise because you can never ex out exercise. <laughs> I do say out exercise. You can't never exercise enough to cover up for a bad diet. It's not working. But you can feel better eating well, not exercising, than you can do eating bad and exercising. So nutrition first, exercise second, in my opinion. And if you already know about my 2020 goals, you know that I will be doing a lot of experimenting. So there will be some videos on different things that I'm trying, that I've tried, that I'm tweaking, see how it works for me, what my thoughts are about them, and generally what I would advise other people to do or look into if they want to try it. So there will be a little bit of biohacking going on there and things that I'm going to try. I'm also going to run a new 30 days no sugar challenge. I will be recycling some of the material, especially the, the videos. There will be other things coming up as well. This will be starting on the 27th of January 2020. So I will put a link in the video description that you can click and sign up for that challenge if you want to take part of it. That would be the easiest way of doing it. I'm going to have a dedicated Facebook group just for the challenge as well. You don't have to be in the Facebook group, but if you want the community th thing going on, I would want to encourage you to actually sign up for that. Or if you're really serious about quitting sugar and you really want it to happen now and you want to learn everything, you want to get the support, you want it to be the thing that you are focusing on, on now, on the 27th of January, on the same date as the 30 day no sugar challenge starts, I will launch my new group coaching training on this. So what will be happening in that group is that for 10 weeks we will be coaching twice a week, live online for everyone who's in that group, maximum 10 people. Uh, included in the course price is my six weeks to quit do-it-yourself course. So you watch the video materials online and you do the exercises in your own time then you come to the coaching calls and we will address your questions I will help you tweak things and we will move things forward so we will get everything dialed in which includes your your emo the, the emotional aspect but also everything re with regards to nutrition if you need that sort of help as well etc so we will sort everything out so that you can quit sugar and if you want to you should have all the tools that you need 
to be sugar-free for the rest of your life after those 10 weeks. And one of these days I will put a video up on one one of my previous clients who went through those 10 weeks. She's given me a brilliant testimonial. She is so lovely. I will put that up anytime soon. And I will also put some more information up about this program also in a few days. I don't want to overwhelm you with videos every day. So that will be coming up very soon. So just keep that in mind if you're interested in that as well. So that was pretty much all I had to tell you right now about what's going to happen with this channel this year. If you have any other suggestions, if there's anything that you think that I should be doing that you really would like to see that would help you, please let me know because I want to help you. I want to help you make 2020 your best year of your life that, so that you can get to where you want to be. Most people have something that they're working towards and if it's something that has to do with health, nutrition, etc. and quitting sugar, staying off sugar or staying off other processed foods, that sort of thing, then that's right up my street. Just let me know and I will make it happen. So have a great day and I will see you again very soon.